In this video, we're going to be looking at introducing CERDs. Um, and CERDs, really, you should have met at some point at higher GCSE. Uh, if not, then don't worry too much, I'm going to introduce them now. Okay, so CERDs are the term that we refer to when we're looking at irrational numbers that are given as the square root of a number. Okay. Um, Except for the perfect squares, like uh, 1, 4, 9, 16, the square numbers. If you square root a whole number, then that is an irrational number. Okay? Uh, it is a number that cannot be written as a fraction. And we call these certs. So examples are root 2, root 3, obviously not root 4 because that is just 2. Then you've got root 5 etc. Okay, these are all certs. Okay, these are all irrational numbers. Now, just to make sure that you are clear of what you can do with them, um, well, first of all, if you've got root 3 plus 3 lots of root 3, okay, then as it works with algebra, if you've got one lot of root 3 plus three lots of root 3, then you've got four lots of root 3, okay? So things like that can be simplified. Um, you've also got the technique where if you multiply them together, so if you've got root 2 times by root 3, then you can write that as the square root of 2 times 3. So you can bring both of them under the same square root bracket. So that's root 6. Now what this allows you to do, if you reverse the process, is if you have something like the square root of 18, then you can write 18 as the square root of 2 times 9, for example. Okay? And then you can say to yourself, well, okay, well that then, if we can go from, right, from left to right here, we can also go from right to left, and we can split the square root into root 2 times root 9. Now, 9 is one of those perfect squares. It is a square number. So the square root of 9 is just 3. So you can write this in a much more simplified way as three lots of root two. And this is what we call, going from this root 18 to three root two, we call that as simplifying the third. Okay? So it all hinged on us being able to write the 18 as two times nine. And I chose that particularly because I knew that nine was a square number. And that is the technique that we have to go through into simplifying a third. So, in the next video, we're going to look at this in a bit more detail. Um, but that is the process that you need to get comfortable with. Um, just to make sure that you are fully aware of what other things that you can't do, for example. Um, you can't do things like, um, if you have the square root of a squared plus... 9, for example, you are unable to split this square root into the square root of a squared plus the square root of 9. So this is not the same as a plus 3. Okay? You cannot, well, you cannot do that. Okay? Um, so make sure that if it is a plus or a subtraction inside the square root symbol. You cannot just split the square root apart. It only works when we're working with this multiplying, multiplier or a division symbol. Okay? So make sure you understand that it cannot work if it's a plus or subtraction, but can if it's a multiply or divide. Okay? If we get that down and sorted now, then uh, you won't have that kind of problem when it comes to later. Okay? You won't be making that mistake again.